Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cut hardy panel. It's a uh, concrete board, so it's very dusty when you cut it. And my method here just kind of keeps the dust down. It's a quick way to cut hardy panel and it's a safe way. So what we're gonna be using is a Makita track saw. And I've paired that with my Festool CT26E HEPA vac. So the reason I love the Festool vacuums is you plug your saw right into them and as soon as you energize your tool, it turns the vacuum on. And then when you stop with your tool, the vacuum runs just for a couple seconds after. So great tool to have paired with your uh, saw. Um, and as, as, as I've said before, the vacuum attachment on the Festool vacuums themselves, you can't beat these, they fit in everything. So it just slips right into the back of the Makita track saw. Um, so here we've got a sheet of hardy panel. This is a cement fiber product and I like to cut them on top of some styrofoam. This is about an inch thick of styrofoam. And essentially, you know, a lot of guys will just use uh, a table saw or a regular skill saw with a concrete blade in it, and they'll just cut. They won't have any dust collection. Um, I know in certain provinces they're cutting down on that and they have to be cutting in tents. Everything has to have vacuums, a HEPA vax, that is. So I'm just kind of getting ahead of the game here because in Alberta, we don't have those rules yet. Um, but also because I care about my health. So if you care about your health, then this video should be good for you. So we're just gonna demonstrate a quick cut here on this hardy panel. Just take our tape and our pencil here and we'll just cut, I don't know, let's cut two inches off. So we'll just mark a two inch mark here and a two inch mark there, okay. And then we're gonna use the Makita track. You just lay that down on your line. Okay, you don't have to snap a line. You don't have to uh, draw a line. You just put it on your both, both of your ticks. And if you're set up with um, the, the mounts that can go on the track saw or on the tracks themselves, so you can just do repetitive cuts, then you wouldn't have to make marks at all. But uh, usually with this type of stuff, you're not doing repetitive cuts. It's kind of custom fitting around windows and things like that. So this is why I like using this system. It's because if you're doing like angle cuts or L cuts or rakes or anything like that, um, it's just really easy to, to get accurate cutting. So when I turn the saw on the vacuum, the vacuum's gonna come on and we'll just cut through this and I'll, sh I'll show you uh, how it works with the vacuum and then I'll show you how it works without the vacuum and, and the difference in dust essentially. Uh, I'm using a Diablo uh, concrete blade in here. So that works out pretty sweet. It's back right there, the red one. And we'll put a link in the description down below for, for that blade if, if, if we can find it on Amazon. All right guys, so I'll just put my glasses on here and away we go. So as you can see, very little dust. And we got ourselves a nice, decent cut there. You can see the, the off cut is a little chipped because the track isn't on this side, but where the track is actually pressed down, you get very little chip out. If you were to just cut this with a regular skill saw, both sides would look like this. So I know with Hardy Panel, it's not a huge deal because you're always covering up your joints um, with some sort of trim, but let's say you weren't, then you'd want the cleanest cut possible and you will achieve that with a track saw. It's also quick. 
I mean, I don't even have to think, right? I don't have to look at the line. It's just a quick cut and it's done. So we'll do another cut here. Um, this time without the vacuum. And you'll see the dust is just going to pour out of this. See the difference? I didn't want to finish that cut. So much damn dust. Um, yeah, that's why I just don't understand when I see siding guys cutting without vacuums. Like to breathe that in all day, seven hours a day, um, it's just horrendous. You, you don't want to do it. So I highly recommend some kind of vacuum system. So, you know, that's, that's how you cut with. Uh, with a Makita track saw. Um, you know, if we had to do an angled cut, it's, it's no different. Let's say we had to cut an angle like that. We just set up. You know, you can do quick cuts. Glasses back on. We got our nice rake. Nice and smooth. Easy peasy. And the styrofoam just helps with keeping the dust, um, you know, from blowing out the bottom and it keeps you stable. It's just really nice to work on. So that's why I bought the Makita track saw. It was specifically for cutting hardy board. I always leave uh, this blade in it. I have the Festool and the DeWalt and I use those for different applications. Um, but for Hardy, I just wanted a, a corded saw for starters and something that wasn't too expensive. And the Festool, you all know, is really expensive and the DeWalt is even more expensive than this saw. So um, I can't uh, stress enough how important dust collection is and, and how easy it is to use a track saw when you're cutting a Hardy panel. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little how-to video. Um, I know it's helped a lot ever since we got this track saw. It just makes our job a lot cleaner and quicker and um, just a lot simpler to use. So until next time, keep on crushing it. Make sure you hit that notify bell and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks guys.